welcome to your house. Welcome to City Hall. Bienvenidos a su casa, la alcaldía. I have such tremendous respect and admiration for the work that you did as the leaders of the Justice for Janitors movement to help the janitors, los janitos, to stand up and find their voice. And that's what tonight's event is all about. When you have felt powerless, when you have felt like you don't matter, to suddenly realize that you do have power, that you do matter, that is the true power of community organizing. When uno llega a su sitio de trabajo, uh, da lo mejor de uno desempeñándolo, uh, limpiando bien esas oficinas, para esos edificios en downtown. Piensa que está seguro ahí trabajando, pero no es así. En esa noche uno está completamente solo en esas oficinas. Una noche cuando yo entro a trabajar, después de tantos acosos de forma, se acerca. Pensando, lo único el pensamiento que fue para mí fueron mis tres hijos. Eso es demasiado fuerte porque en ese momento voy a dar lujo de detalle de lo que pasó porque no quiero que esto ya siga pasando. My mom has worked late nights since we got here. It wasn't until recently that she came out and she told me what she had kept a secret for many years. And it's a very emotional thing to hear. I tell my mom, you know, one day you're gonna see me graduate. You're gonna be so proud of me. And everything that's happened, it's gonna be worth it. It's just so difficult to imagine how how hard it is to to speak, to speak about the unspeakable, everything you've been through. But it is because of brave women like Leticia that we are breaking the silence and standing up to say, ya basta, enough is enough. It is so important that we work hard to get AB 1978 passed in order to prevent these unspeakable crimes against humanity. Well, this, this film was a very great opportunity for many women to rise and speak out. My mom had the courage to break silence and tell me what had happened to her personally. She's setting such, a, such an example on me to not be silent. This film really touches a nerve because as a woman, as a mother, I feel it's our responsibility to protect the most vulnerable among us. And to know that this has been happening for as long as it's been happening and no one's responded is really infuriating to me. And I hope that those of us that have been touched by this will use our voices in unison to help make sure that we put an end to this behavior. It's algo difícil para mí porque yo fui víctima de acoso sexual y ver a mis compañeras que de la película es en la vida es la vida real yo lo viví verdad como lo estamos viendo ahí es lo que uno vive en la noche en los edificios soy una persona de la cual pues también he sufrido acoso sexual y espero de que esto pare necesitamos una protección tanto como para todas las industrias que trabajan you know it's really important for us you know this deal because obviously I see very closely you know that kind of cases I was a janitor too, you know, and I was assault, you know, sexual harassment too, you know, and I know what it exactly this this woman's, you know, talking about. This is the reality for our people. Estamos pidiendo al gobernador que firme la AB 1978 para protección de todos nosotras. Governor Brown for women everywhere. Please sign AB 1978. Gobernador tiene que firmar porque lo necesitamos. Que por favor, gobernador Jerry Brown. Firma el bill. Señor Gobernador Brown, sign this bill, AB 1978. Le pido al Gobernador Brown que firme esta ley y vamos a sentirnos protegidas.